Okay, so what I got going on here is I mounted some tabs with holes drilled in them to secure the boards. Um, this bottom one's only going to have two tabs in the center. Uh, the re I wasn't going to put any because I could have just put some screws here on all four of these casters. But the because of the weight of the compressor is pretty much right here in the middle. Um, the board was sagging just a little bit and I knew after time it would sag quite a bit so I decided to put some tabs on there. Um, some scrap 3 16 plate. So not the prettiest things but they're going to be on the bottom and they work. Um, for the top shelf I just put four because this is only 10 inches across I figure it wasn't going to have too much sagging on the ends. Um, the sagging, if anything, is going to be this direction. So I, you know, put them the way I did. Take a look at the welds. Not too shabby um, for a tab. <clears throat> Just letting it cool down right now. Um, one of the things that I have this clamp here in the center, and the reason I have that there is because. While this cools down, this will help to keep it shape, to keep that bar from bowing. So with it clamped to the table, so I'm just going to let it cool down. And once it's cooled down, I'll release it and it should be okay. Um, if there's any kind of distortion or bowing at all, it's going to be minimal and it's not going to be that big of a deal. Um, not for this anyways. So um, I've got my pieces of wood cut out for both shelves. The only thing left is to really just put the pieces of wood in there, um, screw the wood on there. I don't know. I'm not going to screw the wood on right away, but put the pieces of wood in there, flip it over, and figure out what I'm going to do to brace this top shelf. And once I figure that out, I mean, it's, it's pretty much done. Um, well, not done. I'm jumping way ahead of the game, but once this front section is, is braced, then then as far as structural aspect, it's done. Um, I'm going to want to put those side rails on for the, it'll come up like about like this tall to keep this thing from flopping over to the side. Um, then I'll obviously need to figure out a way to secure both the plasma cutter and the compressor to that. But Yep, I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Okay, so um, this is basically where we're at right now. Getting a little frustrated. Um, I put this piece of angle iron here on this tank and just tack welded this bar in here. Just as a temporary support. Um, what that's going to do is, is allow me to move this thing around a little bit and position this so that I can put the proper bracing in without having to have this sag. I know that it's the exact height that I need it to be. Um, what I think I'm going to do as far as bracing is concerned, let me move this part out of the way. Um, if you look here, I've got this length of three quarter inch and it's stuck on this die set to bend it. And this is one of those Woodward Fab benders. Um, I'll put the link to this. It, it'll bend round tube just fine. Um, some small stuff, not, not any heavy, heavy gauge. If you need some roll cage tubing, you're going to need a bender like this. Um, this thing's more for like conduit, but it does bend this 3 quarter inch um, 16 gauge tubing really well. The problem is is you can't get the square tubing off the die sets. Not without having to really bang on those things with a hammer and it's just it's a royal pain in the butt. So that's where I'm at with that. Um, what I'm planning on doing is where that bend is, it's going to attach here, bend up, come to about right here. We're going to have a brace that comes up on both corners and it's going to come across those and then it's going to curve out like kind of like a, a teardrop and then come back diagonal all the way to the base here 
and connect here. So you pretty much got like an outside bracing, almost like a suspension bridge. Um, hopefully, if you know, if my theory is correct, that it will act like a suspension bridge and allow me to not have any bottom side bracing, which is really what I'm hoping to to avoid. Um, I really don't want to have any bracing down there. Um, so that that's what the plan is. I'm just tired. It's it's about 1:15 in the morning. Um, a bit frustrated that I can't get that piece of square tubing off that die set, and I'm going to just call it a night. Tomorrow I'll come out here and break out the sledgehammer and try to knock that die set off of there. Hopefully I don't break that the die set in the process. Um, but yeah. That's it for tonight, so subscribe, comment, like. Um, if you got any suggestions or any experience dealing with that bender, um, let me know what you what you think. I put oil on it and, then, and whatnot, I still can't get the damn tubing off of it. And I put the oil on before. Um, Anyway, if you're looking at this on, on YouTube, go check out my website, alvarezmetalworks.com. If you're checking this out on, on alvarezmetalworks.com and you're not a subscriber to my YouTube channel, head over to YouTube. The link's at the top left of the screen. And subscribe to the channel. So, alright, talk to you guys later.